Hi there. Well, um, this evening I'm in London St Pancras and I'm about to go on the inaugural Travel Ski Express service, uh, the direct ski train out to the Alps. It's going to be leaving London St Pancras at 4 minutes past 8 this evening and it's going to roll into uh, Moutier first uh, and then Bourg Saint Maurice at 6.15 tomorrow morning. There's no chichette, it's upright seats, so it's going to be an interesting challenge but very exciting being here and I can see and you might be able to see behind me there are a lot of skiers all ready to get on the train. I think there's about three, four hundred people going on this uh, on this first service. So pretty exciting. I'm gonna to speak to a few of them and see what they think. What are, what appeals about the train then? Uh, you ain't got a place to take your skis. Yes. It's door to door pretty much. Yeah. You ain't got to hang around at the airport wasting your time or anything like that. Yeah. And, and, and you get the extra day skier. No, nope, not done this, not done this before, but the guys organising the, the party, I mean, is, is uh, keen on the environmental impact. And okay. Like we give this a go, rather than flying. So, this is it. The uh, inaugural uh, Travel Ski Express train to Bourg Saint Maurice and uh, Moutier. We're going to be setting off from St Pancras very shortly. All the skis are on board, all the passengers are on board, and I'm going to get on board. dinner which was very nice here in the standard premier where you get uh, served there's quite a lot of space here in, uh, in the standard premier i'm not sure i'm going to be comfortable though i mean i can stretch out my legs because i've got two seats here but you know i've been briefed you know definitely take a pillow i'm going to put my puffer jacket behind me and see how it goes um, but you know in general it looks quite good we uh, it's about French time, 11.30 at night, so really, I guess we've only got seven hours to go. Ideally, I'll sleep, I don't know, three, four, five of them if I'm lucky. I took a walk on the train earlier, quite a few people are sort of trying to get to sleep. They've got their eye patches on that we got in our uh, goodie bag for the travel ski. Um, I'm certainly quite pleased to be in the standard premiere, not just because we got served the meal, which was very nice, very tasty, uh, but also because um, the seats are bigger, um, they've got lots of little extras, uh, they do slide back and incline slightly, but they're not really uh, very big overall. Um, I happen to have two to myself here, so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to stretch out, but I'll be amazed if I get anything close to a reasonable night's uh, sleep. The Wi-Fi is patchy on Eurostar, it comes and it goes, but it's been enough um, to be able to send a few tweets and do a few Facebook posts and things like that. Because the coach is like quite like sparse, yeah. we managed to get under the seats and, uh, and lie down. Right, slept on the floor, yeah? yeah and that was got... okay? Yeah, not bad. 6.50 in the morning and we have arrived in uh, Bourg Saint Maurice. I wouldn't say I've had the best night's sleep ever, but I've had some sleep and uh, it's clearly really dark. I've got a couple of hours until the lifts open, so we're on our way to the welcome breakfast now. Lots of other leery-eyed passengers appearing off the train. It's still completely dark, but I can just see the outline of the mountains uh, up there. That's uh, that'll be Les Arc right up there where I'm looking now. So uh, it's starting to be very exciting. Well, that was great. Just had the welcome uh, breakfast uh, from Travel Ski there in a bar uh, just opposite the station. And now I'm going to head to the funicular, which should be open now. Go straight up to uh, Arc 1600, which you can see behind me. The sun's just coming up. A couple of clouds, but it looks like it's going to be a great day. So I've just uh, walked down from the uh, bar to the funicular. If you were getting off the train, you can actually go directly from the platform and take this bridge, which takes you down to the uh, funicular 
but uh, and there's also a shuttle bus that runs the whole time but uh, it really doesn't take very long to walk uh, five minutes at the most And uh, 11 hours after leaving uh, London St Pancras, uh, here I am in, uh, in R1600 at the top of the funicular. Just going to go and find my hotel, find somewhere to get changed, get a lift fast, get some skis and get on the slopes. Well that was amazing, uh, the hotel actually had my room available so I've just been able to go in there, unload all my stuff and get changed. Well I didn't quite get the first lift but it's 20 past 9 and uh, I'm just putting my skis on snow now. Which is pretty good because, um, you know, 12 hours ago I was standing in uh, St Pancras and uh, 